just picking up a few McCrute lime leaves from my garden and these have a delicious light citrusy aroma used all over Southeast Asia and if you just tear them apart you get the sweet aromatic flavors of lime. Now these look really different to lime leaves that you find in your garden because they have a double leaf. Now don't use an ordinary lime leaf from your garden, it just won't work. I'm going to go inside and get ready for my next dish. I'm going to be doing two vegetarian dishes today. The first one, a brinjal and coconut sauce. The first time I tried that, it was actually in Colombo and I missed my flight to Bombay. So I was stuck there and I went on a foodie trip. The second dish, a mushroom and pea curry, which is simple, it's easy to make and absolutely delicious. I'm going to start out with a brinjal and coconut sauce. Light olive oil going into the pan. This takes about 10 minutes to cook, not longer. And straight in chopped onions and then salt. Once again, seasoning those onions to brown them a lot easier. Now, here are the dried lime leaves. You can find these quite easily in supermarkets, Chinese supermarkets and even some chain stores. They do stock them now, they're quite easy to get. But I am going to spoil myself and use these lovely lime leaves from my garden. So you can just break them up and pop them into the pan. amazing about Sri Lankan food, it's really a cross between Indian food and Thai food. So it's got coconut milk, lime leaves, lemongrass, and then it's got the Indian spices as well. I was so surprised to even find curry leaves there. And the take on food is really quite fascinating and the combination of those two different cuisines works beautifully. Our onions are almost ready, I'm gonna get some garlic. I'm going to fry off that garlic for a few seconds and next two spoons of red chilli powder. You could obviously add less if you prefer that. I'm going to fry the chilli for about three to five seconds and next in goes the tomato. You can use fresh tomatoes if you like, or even tin tomatoes. Just count them out the tin and chop them up. Now I'm going to add some cumin, coriander and garam masala. Just about a teaspoon of each. Some turmeric as well. These have already been slow roasted and ground, so you don't need to fry them off in the oil. One of my favorite ingredients going into this brinjal curry, coconut milk. The sauce has thickened beautifully. I'm going to add these brinjals that have been fried already into the sauce. Now these brinjals have already been sweated and I've deep fried them. For a low fat option, you can always just grill them. And for our last spice, the magic masala. This has cumin and coriander cinnamon sticks, cardamom pods, all roasted and ground. It's an incredibly aromatic spice going right at the end. Just needs a touch of heat to release that aroma. Just gonna get a knife for the coriander. Just gonna fine chop this coriander. And it's the perfect thing to really make a curry come alive. And there you have it. That's the brinjal in coconut sauce, the Sri Lankan curry.
adding some olive oil to the pan and I'm going to start with my mushroom and pea curry. Now the first thing is just use your whole spices and mustard seeds going into the pan. About a teaspoon of cumin. And those start to sizzle, add the onion. Okay, so add a few curry leaves. These make your home smell absolutely delicious. Seasoning the onions with salt. About a teaspoon of coarse salt. And we're going to fry these now until they're a light golden brown. Now this curry has a distinct South Indian flavour. Going to add some ginger and garlic. Stir that through. I'm going to add some desiccated coconut now, always popping it in on the side of the pan where it's a little bit cooler. Red chilli powder going in, also on the side of the pan. This does get quite hot. There's nothing worse than burning chilli. Tomatoes. What a commotion. There's all the steam and it's filling my home with the aromas of homemade curry. Now just use the back of a paddle spoon, press those tomatoes down, get them going a bit, cuts down on the cooking time. Cumin going in and some coriander as well. Turmeric. Always just a pinch for those ladies with French manicures. Just to sure you don't want to have some yellow nails. Next, in goes the mushrooms. And these are just button mushrooms. You could also use baby button mushrooms if you like. dry curry, you can serve it with lentils or even a lamb or a chicken curry on the side. I'm going to pop in the peas now. Just using frozen peas, they're convenient and they are really nice and sweet and they're great with a curry like this. Those green peas really stand out in the curry and almost makes it pop. I'm going to get a little water for this. Some water going in. I'm almost tempted to add a touch of cream, but I'm resisting the urge. Cover it up and let that sit. Wow, that does look ready. Another stir, some magic masala going in. This is just gonna glam up a veg curry. And then some curry leaves. And there you have it, a home style curry in just a few minutes. AMC is giving away this paella pot valued at 3,000 Rand. To win one of these fantastic giveaways, go to www.saffrontv.co.za. Spa is giving away five 1,000 Rand shopping vouchers. To win one of these vouchers, go to www.saffrontv.co.za. Carry Me Home is giving away a fabulous KitchenAid blender valued at 3,000 Rand. For more details, log on to www.saffrontv.co.za. 
Whirlpool is giving away this fantastic Jet Chef microwave oven. To win this exclusive giveaway, go to www.saffrontv.co.za.